Alright, hello and welcome everybody. Today we're going to be going over heat pumps. Um, we'll be taking a look at how to model them in HOT 2000. So we'll go over where to look first, where to look second, where to look third, and what to do if you can't find any information. So we'll be covering air source heat pumps in this one. Um, we can go over ground water source in another video. Okay, let's just hop right in, shall we? So. I've got just a generic HOT2000 file open. I need to have the house built uh, to show you guys how to use the defaults. But uh, before we get into that, essentially anytime you've got a heat pump um, at an audit, you're going to want to search it first on the NEEP cold climate air source heat pump list. If it's there, you're going to have to model it as a cold climate heat pump, which I have another video for, so you can check that out. Um, but first, you just want to make sure it's here. If it's here, you got to model it as cold climate. If it's not here, then you don't have to. Let's just pretend that it's not on the list. So the next place you want to check is AHRI. So we'll search by model number, enter that in. I'm going to hit search. And then as you can see, we've got two listed with the same outdoor model number. So what you want to do is just select the first one, see if the indoor Model number matches. If not, just hit search again. Check out your next one down kind of thing. Um, this website can be a bit tricky to use, especially with ducted heat pumps, because you might get a lot of different options showing up. Um, and it can be hard to narrow it down. But anyway, what you would do, let's say this is our heat pump. We would just click that to download the AHRI certificate. And then basically, you can see here, that we've got our rated cooling capacity, which we don't need to enter. Um, we have our sear, which we will enter. And we have our heating capacity at 47 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're going to use that for our BTUs per hour. And you can see our HSPF is region 4, 10.2. We need to convert that into region 5. So we just do that by dividing by 1.15. So in your HOT2000 file, you would just go to your heating and cooling, go to air source heat pump, and unit function, this has cooling and heating, so heating and cooling. It's not a central split, it's a mini split ductless. There's not much difference between the two, except with central split, chances are you're gonna model the main as a electric furnace, try to find the capacity for that. Most of the time for ducted systems, you leave this at balance point, because essentially when the ducted heat pump can no longer provide heating, it's gonna tell the furnace to kick on. That's basically what balance point means. Um, for mini splits, you're generally going to set it to restricted. Um, 14 degrees would be the default, but um, we're also going to try and look up that information as well. And for ground water source, you just set it to unrestricted, essentially, for the most part. General rule of thumb. Um, so yeah, in this case, let's say this is our heat pump. You'd want to put LG. You want to put the outdoor and indoor model number in, and the AHRI number. If you have it, if not, otherwise leave it blank. Um, number of heads here, this refers to the number of eligible heads for an upgrade for greener homes. So I'm just going to leave it as one for now. Um, I don't want to accidentally trigger a rebate or anything like that. And we're going to switch the output capacity to user specified 21600. And our HSPF will be 10.2 divided by 1.15. So that gives us 8.87 and our sear of 21.5 and then what we're going to do is set this to restricted and then we're just going to do a google search where we google the outdoor model number submittal data it's generally the easiest way to find it and for this case i just clicked on lg's website and we've got our indoor outdoor there and then you're just going to try and find the specs Basically, submittals is what we're looking for in this case. So we click that. And what it does is basically brings us, gives us this PDF here. And you can see over here, we've got operating range for the outdoor unit. So it's heating, it operates down to negative four degrees Fahrenheit. So that's what we're going to use. So we'll just put in negative four. And that's how you would model the heat pump if you have the information. Now, if you can't find it on AHRI, just do a Google search, try and find, you know, something like this, because it does list the HSPF, the SEER, everything like that. So this would also give you what you need. Um, usually, I always go NEEP, AHRI, then Google. 
Um, and then what we'll go over now is how to model a heat pump if you can't find any information, if it's a really old unit. So essentially we'd have no manufacturer, or you might have the manufacturer model number, but um, you'd put in the type, even cooling. And then what we wanna do is leave all of those defaulted. So you can see the default is 5.9 and 10. I'm gonna set it to restricted at 14. But what we're gonna to do to get the capacity, and you wanna do this after you've built the entire house, over here, put in your air test, all your windows and doors, everything's in. You're gonna switch the output capacity to 1.25 times cooling load. Then you're gonna hit Alt-C or go to reports and say calculate. And then you're gonna sit here and wait for it to calculate depending on your computer. This could be quick, this could be slow. For me, it's slow. So we'll just wait until it's done. But uh, once it calculates, it's gonna bring up a pop-up window. We're just gonna close that and then go back to the heat pump because it's gonna set a capacity for us. If that capacity, so here we go, little pop-up, hit okay. Go back to our heat pump. So now you can see we've got a capacity here, and if it's larger than 24,000 BTU per hour, you want to drop it down to 24,000 BTU per hour. If the capacity was smaller than that, you could just leave it. So because ours is larger, we're going to go user specified, 24,000. We're going to use 5.9 for HSPF, 10 for our SEER, and restricted at 14. All right, and that's just a quick little easy way to know how to enter air source heat pumps. So. Like I said before, for if it is on the NEEP website, then you're gonna have to model it differently. Check out my other video there. Um, otherwise, if it's not on the NEEP website, go to AHRI, try and find the info. If you can't find it there, Google it. And then also Google the outdoor model number plus submittal data, and you'll get the cutoff temperature for a mini split. Um, and for defaults, basically you just use 5.9 for HSPF, 10 for SEER, restricted at 14. Set the output capacity to 1.25 times cooling load, hit Alt plus C, wait for it to calculate, close the window, go back to heating and cooling. If the number is above 24,000 BTU per hour, change it to 24,000. If it's under, you can just leave it. And that's how you do heat pumps in a nutshell. All right, thank you and have a good one.